I'm feeling this unit so much. channel or welcome if this is your first time here my name is Deanna Monet and today I do have this bomb wig review for you guys from Outre y'all if y'all cannot tell I am excited I am so so excited I am really feeling this unit like really 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 for real I was not expecting to like this hair this much so it's always a pleasant surprise when after you apply the wig melt it down and you're like whoa like who is she this color is gorgeous i have told you time and time again and i will say it again i love outtrace ginger brown i love their ginger brown they do a ginger brown like no other so this i'm here for this texture 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 whoa so 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 impressed by this texture so impressed this is a yakky texture where the stock card go looking at the stock card when i bought this wig i was expecting silky i'm just being honest 
it does not look nearly as full on her or as textured as it does on me. This stock card model was giving me Sabrina vibes. If you don't know, Outre did release Sabrina, another wig in their Melted Hairline collection, and that one was very much silky. She was cute. She was really cute. Very much silky. And that's what Martina was giving me, like a longer Sabrina. No. No. This is like a Nisha. <sighs> Martina is like a Nisha toned down and a little less yakky. So it is like that perfect combination in between like too silky and too yakky. It's that perfect yakky that's right in the middle. The luster is very natural. The density is everything. It's not too thin or too thick for me. Let me turn around so you can see her from all angles. I love, 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 love the texture on this unit. I have not gotten any shedding from this wig. I have not. I have not gotten any tangles from this wig. Wow. So this is the unit I have today. This is Martina from the Outre Melted Hairline Collection. And the color I'm currently wearing is Ginger Brown. I will be showing you another color later, so stay tuned for that one. If you are unfamiliar with the Melted Hairline Collection, then these wigs were designed to give you a very much frontal effect in the front. They claim that hairline is supposed to melt down, honey, and that no plucking is required. They say it lets you show off your edges. Go ahead and slip your hair back. Tuck it behind your ear. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Because the Melted Hairline has ear to ear soft HD transparent lace a pre-attached elastic band to ensure a secure lift free fit and it's pre-plucked to create a natural finish that melts right into your hairline honey they ain't never lie they ain't never lie this this stock card i must say is very accurate very much so very accurate five stars 10 out of 10 would highly recommend I did use my Even Tint Spray in the color Light Warm Brown in order to just darken up that lace a little bit along my hairline, baby. Yes, yes. This and whatever lace they used up in here, it created that. You see that? Like, yes, yes. As for the five inch deep parting, absolutely really nice super flat like super sleek just like Kamaya they also claim completely pre-plucked hairline and sideburns yes ma'am I showed you as I was applying her how the sideburns did come all the way down to the side and I'm so proud of myself for not cutting them off this time I really wanted to work with them I really wanted to show you actually if you were to put them down how it would look it's looking like scalp. Now, y'all know that I have a low hairline. So, some people might say, like, oh, that's up too far. No, that's where my hairline comes on my head. So, when you lay it down, you, of course, can push it back. If your hairline stopped right here, then, you know, make it stop back there. But that is realistic for me and for my face. I'm happy with it. I don't want to make this video too long, so I will include timestamps below for you to zip to the part that you're interested in seeing. But really quick, I do want to talk about the meltdown because that's really going to make or break your wig install. So I do want to talk a little bit more about what I did. This is my favorite thing I like to use to hold my wigs in place. And nine times out of ten, it gets the job done. But I really wanted to get this one right and I wanted it to stay in place. So I've been using this lately for my melted hairline units. And this is the Esha Fusion Lace Wig Bond Glue from Janet Collection. When I tell you this thing is like liquid cement, liquid cement. Got, like you see, I only put it here and here. That's because I want my edges and I don't want to be pulling and tugging and you really don't want to get it in your hairline too much because it is very, 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 very sticky. Very sticky. That being said, a little bit goes a long way. So but I'm going to have to purchase the larger size of this because it is perfect for when you want a really secure meltdown. 
I really, really, really do not want to take this one off. I don't, I don't. But we have to finish the review in another color. So let me go ahead and slide into that other color for y'all real quick. Okay, so I am back with Martina in DRFF Red Velvet. That is the second color I have her in. Let me know down in the comments which color you are feeling more, the ginger brown or the red velvet. Let me know. Before we get back into the rest of the claims on the stock card, I do want to mention a couple of things I'm noticing about this color before I forget. The first thing I noticed about this unit was the texture feels a bit more dry than the ginger brown color. I felt like my ginger brown was more flowy and this is a little more coarse, maybe because of the hair coloring process for the red velvet. Another thing I noticed was the shedding. I'm getting a lot of shedding from the red velvet color. I got none, like none from the ginger brown color. So that kind of threw me off. And as far as the style of the unit, I feel like this side is giving more than this side is giving. This side is like, okay, with the little swoop bang. And that side could use some sprucing up. I think those are all the differences I noticed between the two units. I still think that both of them are very pretty. I love this red velvet color. Let me turn around so you can see it from all angles. So back to the stock card, they say that it comes with a wide elastic band for a secure fit. It does, but I'm not using that right now. Natural baby hairs, yes, we talked about those. I loved the baby hairs on both units. Very natural, not too much, not too long. They were great. And redesign comfort fit ear contour. Yes, I showed you that, how it does definitely come ear to ear. And all along this hairline is pre-plucked. It looks good. Altra did a great job. Okay, so I'm back just for us to do a quick recap of the pros and the cons with this wig. This style is everything. Everything. The style is very much everyday, beginner friendly, big head friendly, comfortable, perfect luster. Love the density. Love all those things about the unit. Absolutely love this hairline. I did not get any tangling from either of the units. My hand is gliding through both of them. I really like this soft, yucky texture. The texture feels great. This one, like I mentioned, does feel more dry than the ginger brown. So maybe I would stick to getting a ginger brown color or more of a natural color. It's cute though, like it's a look. This unit is in the $37 to $40 price range and I purchased mine off of wig types. I will include the link below for where I got my unit. If it is sold out there, feel free to shop around for some other sites that have it in stock. Elevate Styles, Sam's Beauty, Hair Stop Shop, Hair Stop, whatever the name of that one is, you know what I'm saying. Just shop around because there are different prices. They vary slightly in prices depending on where you go to buy it. If I had to give this unit a rating, I would give the Ginger Brown color a 10 out of 10. I had no cons with that one. And I would give the Red Velvet color a 9 out of 10. Both really good. Altre did their thing. I'm just feeling it so, so, so much. I think those are just about all my thoughts on this unit. Drop me a comment down below. Let me know what color you prefer seeing her in. And also, are you interested in Martina? Do you want to pick her up? Are you here for the Nisha vibe with less hair? Let me know down in the comment section. I appreciate you so, so, so much for watching, for supporting my channel, for rocking with me, and I will catch you in the next one.